the aim of this particular session today is to settle all your doubts and confusions regarding the correct approach to radiology and the book to be followed. What is radiology without images? I think it is like listening to a movie on a radio set. Do we do that? No, it's not fun, isn't it? And therefore, when we discussed this project of this book, we decided to make these images the real hero of our book. And therefore, you will find that in all throughout this particular book, there are at least 700 plus original large sized images which have been included so that you can have a good you know, visual memory of what text is given on that particular page. This is unlike any other book, you will find, you will notice the difference once you open the book, you look at the image size, this is a full sized book as well. So for example, look at this page from Conceptual Review of Radiology. This is a page where we are discussing all the imaging findings uh, which are seen in a case of early pregnancy within the first few months. Here the image is very clearly showing you in the image that you can see there is a gestational sac. Inside the gestational sac you can see a round structure which is the yolk sac, the first structure to appear inside a gestational sac. Look besides it, there is another image that you can see where you can see two ring like structures inside that particular gestational sac. This is what is called as the double bleb sign of early pregnancy. Recently a question was asked the double bleb sign in early pregnancy is formed by what structures? The answer was one of them is the yolk sac, the other one is the amnion. That was the answer to that particular question and below it you can see a fetal pole, you know fetus which is seen inside the gestational sac the crown rump length has been measured and this is how the CRL or crown rump length measure. Now look at this another page. This is a page for general from general radiology discussing the basics of ultrasound and the page is trying to tell you what are the different methods of display of ultrasound imaging. Now on the top side of the page you can see the it is the table is in continuation so it is telling you about the B mode and M mode of ultrasound display and you can see that actually there are images B mode and M mode images alongside that so that you can actually read the text and look at the image so that it correlates your brain it is registered very well so that you can remember it for a long time. On the lower half of the page you can see that we are trying to demonstrate what are the various appearances on ultrasound image and how to describe them. Now in ultrasound as you would read you would come to know that the image appearance is determined by the intensity or the echoes, intensity of the echoes which are coming back from the body tissues and therefore the appearance on an ultrasound image is described as being hypoechoic meaning dark, isoechoic meaning intermediate and hyperechoic meaning bright.